Hey, welcome back to the Dirty Ranchers channel. Thanks for watching, I appreciate it very much so. Being a little ambitious today. Doing some things, some thinking. Uh, got a little idea for a painting series. I haven't really uh, documented any of my paintings before, so... Uh, I kind of want to start a horror character portrait series. I've already done a Jason Voorhees based off of Friday the 13th Part 7, A New Blood. It is right here. Also, I'm going to be doing a Michael Myers. I'm in the midst of that right now. Um, I've been kind of documenting it. I'm going to do a little more right now. i got my camera set up on my ghetto rig taped up and everything with a power cord hanging down all oh. I need money well I have money saved up I need to save it for other things like bills <laughs> anyway uh, this Michael Myers portrait is going to be true or my goodness, I'm sorry, brain fart. This Michael Myers portrait is going to be influenced by the original 1978 Halloween film, John Carpenter's Halloween. And it's inspired by this particular photo. I know what you're thinking. It's a lot of detail, Dirty Rancher. Can you handle it? I don't know. That's what we're going to find out today. Woohoo! Woohoo! So far, it's gonna be kind of hard to see it on this piece of shit camera with the lighting. But let's do some sketching, shall we?
Miles and the Jawliner done. I think I kind of carried it too low down, but you know what? That's all right. We'll see how it turns out. We'll see how it turns out. The face is right. The proportions are right. It's just a little low down on the face, which is kind of a bummer. <laughs> you know, it'd be a lot of work to just move that up. You know that half an inch quarter inch or so but I mean I think we can live with it so uh, I think we're on to the hair and then we start coloring and shading in and then we'll start working on his digital outfit quite <laughs> Indubitably able to be in the years, quite in the years. All right, so the hair is kind of in there. Kind of hard to see on the blue, but I can see it, of course, in the light. It gives off a little bit of a sheen, as you see. So it's just kind of a rough outline of where it's gonna be, where it's gonna line up. But I think overall, you know, that looks, I think that looks pretty damn good. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it. Let's paint tomorrow. Because this is an arduous task, and I don't have very much patience at the moment. I believe I must have something to eat and drink. My voice is just, it's raspy. My, my, my throat's dry and sore, and God damn, I need some food. I'm hungry. So, goodbye for now, and, well, I guess not for now. Same video. Fuck me, right?
Well, I suppose I can call it done. I don't think I'll get any better than that. There's a lot of detail. And a lot I have to learn before I try this again. It was fun. But next time I need to really think about it before I just, you know, go for it. Looks like shit. Thus begins the documentation of Fortress Number 3. So, tried to do it with the Michael Myers one. I'm kind of glad it did fail for some reason. My little camera here didn't record it. Recorded everything else I was planning to do, but not the initial uh, painting stage. So, you know what? Let's try to set it up properly this time and do it with Scream's ghost face. The original mask from 1996. Let us begin now, shall we? So now we're set up, we're just going to use some black and white, do a backdrop, let's see how it goes. <laughs>
backdrop's done so I'm gonna let it dry and then we're gonna do a bit of sketching well the backdrop is dry let us do some sketching I know it's gonna be hard to see again with that fucking stupid rig right here but you know what we'll make do I'll get a close up and you'll see the before and after you're just going to get a little time lapse of the progress. <laughs> Whether you like it or not.
So this is it. Kind of just the basic shape. It's still hard to see. But you can kind of guess where it's going. His nose, top of his mouth, the bottom of his mouth, or eyes, and the top of his eyes, his forehead. Now I'm going to paint the hood over top afterward. But I think I'm going to paint tomorrow instead. Uh, I don't want to be too ambitious and get carried away. So tomorrow I'll start with the white in the face. Maybe even a little darker with the shading and I'll add lighting after. And then I'll do the hood over top. It'll be great fun. So I've decided to do a bit more sketching off camera. Just simply because without a good light source to kind of catch the sheen of the lead pencil on it. Uh, it would be hard to see on the video camera up ahead. So I'm just going to do a bit of sketching off camera. But just to give you guys some perspective of what I've been doing, uh, especially to keep the eyes symmetrical and the same shape and size, I had kind of a difficulty tracing out the eyes, the piece of paper, and of course reversed it onto the other side. Try to make it as symmetrical as possible. If I have to tweak the face around it, make it a little bigger, whatever, so be it. But in the meantime, I'm going to do some sketching off camera. So, why don't we skip ahead to the future? Ooh, hee hee. Oh, come on. Oh, Jesus. I always find a way to make it lame. But let's time travel, shall we? Woohoo! So while we're doing some more sketching off camera, obviously we're not going to be showing it, and you don't want to sit here and wait around for a new video, why would I ever do that to you? Why would anybody ever do that to you? I don't know. Anyway, I digress. Let's skip forward to the future. So the painting process is about to begin. Enjoy.
She's done. Not too bad, I'd say. Time to put her up on the wall and sign it. Thanks for watching. Well, hey there, Dirty Rancher here. I just want to say thanks for watching the video. It really makes my day to see those views go up. So remember, like, subscribe, share, and comment. Have a great day.